it is a wonderful pleasure for me to welcome you here to the University of Limerick for this great day to mark the official launch of the most significant project for UL and indeed for the whole country, I think. I think our guest attendance today reflects <coughs> the importance of this project and I'm delighted that the Taoiseach could join us to perform the official launch. Taoiseach, you are most welcome. We know you have a huge array of, of things to look after in getting our country back on track again and we're delighted that today we welcome you to your first official University of Limerick uh, event here and we're delighted that it's on such an important day for us. I also want to, to pay a, a special welcome to uh, Mary Sutton who's Ireland director and her colleague Jim Downey from Atlantic Philanthropies an organisation that has supported our endeavours here for many, many years. I'd also like to welcome members of the Bernal family. <coughs> As you know, this, this project is called after John Desmond Bernal, one of Ireland's most influential 20th century scientists who passed away in 1971. And as a Corkman, it gave me great pleasure to call this project after a Tipperary man. <laughs> And I'm also delighted to welcome our many guests today, including some who have come from far away. I want to welcome Dolores McCall from Texas and Howard Crosby from Washington State, both of whom are here today on a mission with uh, Terry Brown. At UL, we are proud of our track record in translational research and our productive ties with industry over the years. And for that reason, I'm delighted to see so many of our industry partners here today. Thank you for being here to celebrate with us on this wonderful day. This university's research record is unsurpassed in terms of impact. And what I'm talking about is impact in the real world. World-class research that enhances existing companies and facilitates startups. Research that enhances existing jobs, protects existing jobs, and helps to create new jobs. And over the years, UL has consistently benchmarked ahead of its peers in terms of patents, spin-out companies, job creation, and innovation. The Bernal Project represents one of the most significant investments in science and engineering in this country ever. The 52 million euro investment will enable the university which is proud of its strong history in applied science and engineering to enhance key disciplines in the Faculty of Science and Engineering. The enhancement efforts concentrate on areas which have three properties. First of all, they must be capable of generating a reputation of research excellence for this university. Secondly, they must be suitable for addressing technical problems, technical problems of importance to this country. And thirdly, they must be capable of generating excellent interaction with industry. The project involves the recruitment of 10 world-leading professors across three priority areas and the construction of a new facility to accommodate the project. The project will be funded on a partnership basis between the state, the university, and our generous philanthropic supporters acting through the aegis of the University of Limerick Foundation. The people in the organization known as the Atlantic Philanthropies have been significant supporters of this university for very many years. They have shared our vision from the beginning and enabled us to achieve what many might have deemed impossible. And so today, I am delighted to be able to announce that the Atlantic Philanthropies has committed over 26 million euro to support the Bernal Project. This initiative represents one of the Atlantic Philanthropy's largest ever investments in Ireland. And as president of the University of Limerick, I want to express our deepest gratitude to the Atlantic Philanthropies and to our great friend, Chuck Feeney. 
there will never be a better opportunity for other interested parties, whether private or corporate, to follow the leadership of the Atlantic Philanthropies by engaging with us and with the University of Limerick Foundation to enable the university to achieve the full realization of our Bernal dream. That's an invitation. Now, the Bernal project is already well underway. Five of the planned 10 Bernal chairs have already been recruited, and I want to take the opportunity today to formally welcome them to UL, and they are. Professor of Pharmaceutical Powder Engineering, Gavin Walker from Queen's University, Belfast. Professor of Energy, Bartek Blawaki from Cambridge. Professor of Crystal Engineering, Michael Zavarotko, <coughs> or Mike Z, from the University of South Florida. <coughs> Professor of Fluid Mechanics, Harry Vandenacker from Delft. And Professor of Microscopy and Imaging, Ursel Bangert from the Univers University of Manchester. These five people are globally recognized leaders in their scientific, engineering, and technological fields, and they have come to us from some of the world's top universities. Their contributions to the Bernal Project, and indeed the contributions of the five Bernal chairs yet to be recruited, will support this country's progress for many years to come. The construction of the 25 million euro facility to support the Bernal Project is well underway. It will provide a particularly creative environment for this new research development, providing close proximity between researchers, students, professors, and research facilities across a number of different disciplines. And it is also specifically designed to support active industry academic collaborations. I want to take the opportunity today to recognize the extent to which Science Foundation Ireland and Enterprise Ireland have recognized the importance of what we're trying to do here at UL and have sought opportunities to partner with our new Bernal chairs. The recruitment to UL of Professor Gavin Walker, whose expertise lies in pharmaceutical process engineering, undoubtedly strengthened the case for the establishment of the Synthesis and Solid State Pharmaceutical Centre by SFI and the Pharmaceutical Manufacturing Technology Centre by Enterprise Ireland, both of which are led by the University of Limerick. Professor Mike Z, Mike Zavarotko, is a world-leading expert in crystal engineering among the top 20 most cited chemists in the world, and Science Foundation Ireland were eager to support his recruitment through their research professors program. This is wonderful support from the state research funding agencies, and I look forward to further collaboration with those agencies, both here in Ireland and indeed in the EU, when the full significance of the Bernal project becomes apparent <coughs> as the new Bernal chairs complete their transitions to Limerick. The University of Limerick is a young player in the research sphere. That youth brings with it the opportunity to do things differently, to break the mould, to shape the research agenda. This opportunity attracts here to UL like-minded individuals who appreciate a new opportunity, a new way to do things. It also brings visionary supporters keen to assist us in inventing the future, keen to be part of a rising wave of new, exciting and groundbreaking research and emerging talent. It's going to be a very, very exciting journey, and we're off to a really great start. <clears throat> I'd like to thank the many supporters of this project, the Atlantic Philanthropies and the University of Limerick Foundation, and in particular, its chief executive, David Cronin. I'd like to thank our Vice President of Research, Mary Shire, and Professor Kieran Hodnett for their extraordinary work on, on this project. Collaboration between government universities and the private sector is essential if we are to work together to deliver world-class innovation, high-value jobs, and positive economic progress. And today we celebrate a wonderful example of such a collaboration. And in that context, 
I want to thank the Department of Education and Skills, the Department of Enterprise, Jobs and Innovation, Science Foundation Ireland, Enterprise Ireland, the IDA and the Higher Education Authority whose guidance and support have made this possible. And I also want to thank the industry leaders, many of whom are here today, who have collaborated with us in the past and who we hope will continue to collaborate with us in the future. <coughs> the University of Limerick is doing everything it can to contribute to the resurgence of Ireland. And I am delighted that Antishik and Kenny can be with us to celebrate the immense contribution the Bernal Project will make to that recovery. Notwithstanding the many other affairs of state you have to handle, Taoiseach, in these challenging times, we are delighted that your first formal UL event is to launch an initiative that we hope will have such a positive economic impact on our country. Ladies and gentlemen, I would ask you to give a very warm Limerick welcome from Taoiseach and the Kenny TD.